Dear student, welcome to the problem solving session on Cauchy root test. In this session, we are going to learn the procedure for Cauchy root test and then we solve some good problem on this test. Let us go to the procedure for Cauchy root test. As usual, let us take summation un is the positive term series. Now, you have to take the nth root of un and you have to apply n tends to infinity as your limit. Then you get a value l. It should be finite and as usual the same condition. If l greater than 1, summation un is divergent. If l less than 1, it is going to be convergent. If l equal to 1, test fail. Now, see this very carefully. We are taking nth root. So, if you choose a normal problem which you are going to solve by ratio test, it is going to be very tough because you are taking nth root here. So, what is the clue here? If your problems contain whole power n or the higher powers of n like n square, whole power n cube, etc. Then in this case, I can try to apply Cauchy root test because when I take power 1 by n, this power n will get cancelled and we can easily find the solution. So, let us see some problems on Cauchy root test. Test the convergence of the series. Summation n equal to 2 to infinity. This is viewed as 1 by log n whole power n. Both are same. At n equal to 1, we will be getting log 1 that is 0. 1 by 0 is infinity. That's why they are taking from n equal to 2 to infinity. Now, the problem is so simple. Un is directly given. 1 by log n whole power n. So, the only option is there, we have to apply Cauchy root test. When you take power 1 by n on both sides, we will be getting simply 1 by log n. Now, limit n tends to infinity, u n is equal to limit n tends to infinity, 1 by log n. So, log infinity is going to be infinity. 1 by infinity is 0. That is good because it is less than 1. Let us see the typed version. So, it is less than 1. Now, we have the look on the definition of Cauchy root test. If it is less than 1, converging. Greater than 1, diverging. Therefore, by Cauchy root test, the given series is an converging series or summation u n is convergent. Next we go, one more problem, summation n by n plus 1 whole power n square. So, we should not get panic when you see n square. I said we should not get panic by seeing the higher powers. I said the power n or power n square etc. Now, as usual, let us take summation u n is summation n by n plus 1 whole square. Before going to this problem, we have to know some standard results. Limit n tends to infinity. 1 plus a by n whole power n is e power a. Suppose you are getting a as 1. So, limit n tends to infinity. 1 plus 1 by n whole power n is simply e. Hope you understand. This result we are going to use. So, nth term is directly given to us. Now, take nth root will be getting 1 plus, will be getting 1 by 1 plus n whole power n. Now, limit n tends to infinity, u n power 1 by n is going to be 1 by e. Just now we see the result. We know the value of e is 2 point something approximately. So, 1 by 2 is obviously less than 1. Therefore, by Cauchy root test, if the value is less than 1, it is going to be a convergent series. Therefore, summation u n is convergent. So, we see very, very simple problems. They might be asked in MCQ. Let us go into some standard problem. Examine the convergence of the following series. Now, by seeing the problem, you may understand that we can also apply ratio test. But, just wait for finding the nth term. Once you found the nth term, then you understand which test I should use. So, let us consider summation u n is equal to the given series. Now, we have to find the nth term for the numerator and denominator. So, 1, 2, 3, etc. It goes on. So, numerator as nth term simply n. Now, we go for denominator. Denominator, we have 4, 7, 10, etc. So, tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. a is 4. Difference is 3. So, tn is equal to 4 plus n minus 1 into 3. So, 4 plus 3n minus 3. Therefore, my tn is going to be 3 n plus 1. So, we found our numerator nth term, denominator nth term and you see here power 1, power 2, power 3 etc. It is increasing. Now, let us write the general 
term so u n is equal to numerator n denominator 3 n plus 1 whole power n now we see whole power n is there so the best option is cauchy root test if you apply power 1 by n both sides you will be getting n by 3 n plus 1 now take this n outside i can cancel this numerator n denominator n into 3 plus 1 by n therefore n n get cancel now if you apply the limit it will become 1 by 3 plus 0 that is less than 1 if it is less than 1 by cauchy root test summation u n converges if it is greater than 1 it is diverges okay next we are going to see a different problem so i am just going to recall some basic definitions which we did in the first video addition or removal of finite number of terms in the series will not affect the series similarly multiplication of some non zero number will not affect the infinite series now let us see the necessary conditions for convergence if summation un is a positive term series summation un is said to be convergent if summation un if limit n tends to infinity un is equal to 0 So now let us go into the problem. Next, we are going to see a very interesting problem. Examine the convergence of the series. Before writing the nth term, we cannot say whether I am going to apply ratio test or Rabi's test or Cauchy root test. Now let us see into the problem. Here, first term is not x. Second term is x. Third term is x square. Fourth term is x cube. It goes on, but it creates some complications when you solve the problem. So I am just going to neglect this term. Just now I said neglecting a term or deleting a term or adding a term will not affect the series. So I am going to take summation u n as two by three. x etc i am just going to omit this 1 by 2 now we have to find the nth term see first term is 2 second term is 3 third term is 4 so now nth term is simply n plus 1 numerator over denominator first term is 3 second term is 4 third term is 5 so nth term is going to be n plus 2 so now let us write the numerator and denominator numerator nth term is n plus 1 denominator nth term is n plus 2 and here now the power of x is first term x second term x square third term x cube etc nth term is x power n so this n plus 1 is numerator n plus 2 is denominator x power n remains for this now i can rewrite like this therefore my un consists of two terms n plus 1 divided by n plus 2 whole power n into x power n in both the terms we have whole power n so now if you go for ratio test it will be little complicated since my right hand side all the terms consist of whole power n now you can easily remember it is the best thing to take power 1 by n on both sides so i can apply cauchy root test for this problem next i want to apply root test so un whole power 1 by n is going to be n plus 1 divided by n plus 2 into x next we have to simplify this because we have to apply limit n tends to infinity i am just taking this n common and i am cancelling it and we will be getting this now limit n tends to infinity un power 1 by n it is going to be 1 plus 0 divided by 1 plus 0 into x therefore limit n tends to infinity u n power 1 by n is equal to x now it is not a number therefore i have three chances x value decision and test when x is less than 1 what is the decision i take summation u n converges by cauchy root test if x greater than 1 then summation u n diverges by cauchy root test if x equal to 1 cauchy root test fails we are going to find a different method now since cauchy root test is failed write down the nth term n plus 1 divided by n plus 2 whole power n x power n now if x equal to 1 cauchy root test fails therefore put x equal to 1 here so we will be getting 
u n is equal to n plus 1 by n plus 2 whole power n. Now, our u n is n plus 1 by n plus 2 whole power n. First, I cannot apply limit comparison test for this particular value at x equal to 1. The reason is it has power n. So, LCT fails. I cannot apply. Then, I cannot apply Cauchy root test because the reason at x equal to 1, Cauchy root test only get fails. I cannot use Cauchy root test. Now, when I was thinking for ratio test, I have whole power n. Now, it will be more complicated because I want to find n plus 1th term and I have to divide. Lot of things is there. So you can apply this is one choice. But suppose if ratio test fails, then we have to take un by un plus 1 minus 1 into n. We have to go for Rabi's test. So, the problem gets more and more complicated. Just think, we have a result limit n tends to infinity 1 plus a by n whole power n is going to be e power a. See this u n term. I can rewrite this like this. Let us simplify. Limit n tends to infinity u n is going to be this. Now, limit n tends to infinity. I'll take n common. I'll be getting 1 plus 1 by n divided by n into 1 plus 2 by n whole power n. Now, n n get cancel. Just now I said the result. Limit n tends to infinity. 1 plus a by n whole power n is e power a. So, if I apply this result in numerator, I have 1 plus 1 by n. In denominator, I have 1 plus 2 by n. So, I can write this separately. 1 plus 1 by n whole power n divided by 1 plus 2 by n whole power n. Now, applying the limit for both numerator and denominator separately, we will be getting e power 1 divided by e square. Now, it is going to be 1 by e. We know the value of e is approximately 2.4 something. Therefore, it is very important. This is not equal to 0. Just now, we see the necessary condition for convergence. Limit n tends to infinity, u n should be 0, then summation u n converges. Here, this is not equal to 0. Therefore, I will say at x equal to 1, u n is diverging. Since the necessary condition for convergence of summation u n is not satisfied, summation u n is diverging at the point x equal to 1. So, we conclude this problem, student. So, now finally, we have to write the table. x value, decision and test. Less than 1, we already found it is converging by Cauchy root test. For x greater than 1, summation u n diverging by Cauchy root test. Now, we found at x equal to 1, Cauchy root test fails, but we use the different technique here. Summation u n diverges by the necessary condition. So, you write the table like this in a very legible way, so that it will impress the evaluator to give full score for your paper. Good luck students. Hope you understand.